Good afternoon, everyone. While we all wish that we could be together in school, getting ready for spring break and trips abroad, playing sports and enjoying the weather, instead we are living a much different reality. It is a challenging time, perhaps the most challenging of our lives, and yet I still maintain that it's a great day to be a patriot. Simply put, you are what makes every day great, and all of you are in my prayers. I pray that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and finding positive ways of managing the new demands of our current situation. I pray for the doctors, nurses, and researchers who are working to bring a permanent end to this virus. I pray for our leaders who are making enormous decisions that affect our lives. I pray for first responders, grocers, and other crucial professionals who are doing their best to bring normalcy to daily life. Of course, you, our beloved students, are always at the forefront of my prayers at this time. It seems like a lifetime ago since we watched you embrace each other and sing our alma mater to celebrate the girls' basketball team winning another regional championship just three weeks ago. We were excited about going to state, the musical, spring break trips, and we were all taking for granted the simple gift of coming to school and going to class and talking to our friends. But all of that changed in the blink of an eye. The state basketball tournament was canceled just 15 minutes before tip-off. The musical was postponed and trips were put off until next year and we learned how to go to class via the internet. But you, Carol Patriots, have found ways to adapt. In a display of tremendous sportsmanship, our girls gathered for a photo outside St. John's Arena with the West Branch team, the team they were going to play, and celebrate the season they had. You're finding ways to stay connected, and our unbelievable teachers turned on a dime and found ways to teach remotely with unmatched professionalism and expertise. We are so blessed to have truly the best teachers around. Next week we'll be on spring break, and we were initially hopeful that it would signify the end to our online learning for the year. But if you've been paying attention to the news, you know that we are likely going to be in this situation until at least May. I urge you during this time to stay focused and learn as much as possible. Keep turning in your assignments and get the best grades you can. I don't know how this year is going to end, but I know that you'll need a strong finish to ensure that you are well positioned for your future. Also, please listen to what you're being told by the governor and health officials. If we want this to end quickly and get back to normal, we all must do our part by staying home and keeping a safe distance from each other. I've gotten many questions about whether or not the spring sports, the musical, prom, and even graduation will be held. I can tell you that the OHSAA plans to wait as long as possible regarding spring sports and will play any portion of the season and tournament that they possibly can. As far as our own events, I have no intention of canceling. Although I cannot say when they will occur or where they will be held, we will make every effort to hold these important end of year events. Seniors, as hard as this is, what you are doing right now is helping the world save countless lives. You are being true to your school community in unexpected ways, and you will graduate with honor, knowing you have served the greater good in profound ways. Your work so far and your opportunity for, for further accomplishments have not been dashed. A world of opportunity awaits your future once we get past this. Take heart and have hope. We will have graduation. At some point, in some place, we will honor your accomplishments and the many contributions you have made to our community. In closing, I'd like to say that while challenges of the day are daunting, and the solutions to our problems may remain unclear, we can find refuge in our Catholic faith. Mother Teresa once said, yesterday is gone, tomorrow has not yet come, we have only today. Let us begin. Let us all begin today to smile just a little wider, share just a little more, and pray just a little harder. Through the coming days and weeks of social distancing, our love and faith is what will keep us together. It's a great day to be a patriot, and we'll see you soon.